This video tutorial is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of some typical question styles that you will be encountering while taking a diagrammatic reasoning style psychometric test. Our goal with these diagrammatic reasoning tests is to assess one's logical and problem-solving abilities. In this part of the video tutorial, we will look at questions that ask you to evaluate processes through diagrams. This may at first seem quite overwhelming, but let's break it down piece by piece. We have a sequence of shapes. A white C, a white circle, and a white star. Following two operations, it will transform into a black C, a white star which has moved position to the middle, and a black circle which has moved to the end. At the top, we are given a key, indicating what the green operator symbols do. We are given one of them already with three lines, and we must discover the operator with the question mark. The three-line operator states that it switches the second and third symbols. Now we can already see that the star and the circle switch places after the operations, so we need to look for the other operator that turns the white C and white circle into a black C and black circle. The target operator here states it changes the size of the middle symbol. That doesn't seem to help. The sun operator states it will replace circles with triangles. Again, not correct here. Lastly, the crescent operator states it changes shading of symbols with a round edge. Not only are we looking for a change of shading, but we can note that the circle and the C have a round edge. This would also explain why the star does not change from white to black, given that it too is part of the sequence of shapes. Therefore, if we apply the crescent operator, we can see that the white C and the white circle, but not the star, will first change their shading. Then, the three-line operator acts, swapping the second and third shapes, the circle and the star, leaving us with the answer of a black C, white star, and black circle. Thus we are in no doubt that the correct operator which replaces the question mark is the crescent C. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope it's been helpful. Best of luck with your test practicing here at Assessment Day.